Okay, here's a tour of Mel Cow. Um, this is just the administrative interface here, actually. Um, this is all the options you have. You can port host, uh, check quarantine emails. They have a thrown spam filter as well. A few other ways you can customize the interface, actually. I mean, I personally wouldn't use this for like commercial wise. Um, I would just use this for um, personal. And for some reason, uh, this keeps freezing up here, actually. Maybe I'm not giving enough time to load up. That part just will freeze up. I'm just going to go back here. And here we go. Yeah, see, we got a known error. So it's a little bit buggy as well. So um, but I've been just playing around with this. Now, here's the email interface here as well. This one took me a while to figure out. Uh, so I'm putting in uh, one of the domains I have here. Um, and now you enter the email section of it. The interface of the email is surprisingly nice. Uh, very slick, pretty much. Um, I do like that part. You have junk. Uh, a few nice features as well. You can check your mail, address book, calendar. All the features of an email you'd really want. Um, definitely, it be, would be worth, like, you know, if you were to just use it as personal, like I recommended, that'd be perfect for you. Uh, nothing I'd sell or like that. Because it does lack a lot of features. Well, a lot of features with your current email, like with most internet providers, would offer as well. Um, but it's nice for a personal email. If you want to have more control of your email, this would be the best thing you could choose here. Uh, there is Melnabox as well, actually. Uh, but this one seems to be more, more better, a better interface. And you can actually change your password in this interface, too. So if you did uh, host your friends' uh, email addresses and such, they could change your own password at any time. They, want, they would not have to contact you. Um, so definitely it's worth... Uh, checking out